This is Ralph Irvin on Spalding Field where the UCLA football team has just wrapped up preparations for Thursday night's matchup at Washington. We begin our game preview as always on offense. Here's UCLA quarterback Richard Brijo and wide receiver Taylor Embry. They got a great secondary, you know, they got a lot of athletes in that secondary, a lot of guys that can make uh, big plays. And so, you know, we just got to, you know, stay within ourselves, stay within the offense, you know, play within ourselves and, um, you know, just keep our concentration level up. It's going to be a hostile environment. Um, there's going to be some other, you know, factors like rain and stuff, and we can't let those affect us. We just got to, um, you know, keep our concentration level up, like I said, and just um, play to move the chains. They got a defense that flies around. The, their corners, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be physical at the line. And, uh, you know, they're going to be out there making plays. We've got to go out there, uh, match their intensity. It's going to be an intense game. You know, both teams need it to, uh, to stay alive for bowl eligibility. Um, and, you know, it's their last home game. They're going to be excited, you know, and uh, we just got to go out there and match their intensity. Obviously, you know, an extra week off, you know, everyone, we got a lot of guys nicked up, so guys get time to, you know, get rested up. Um, I feel healthier than I've felt in a long time, um, just soreness-wise and stuff like that. Um, and also, you know, you get a head start on on watching the, the game plan, um, watching, you know, what they do on, on uh, defense. We've uh, opened up the pass game a little bit more. And as a receiver, you love that. that you know, that's what we do. We catch the ball. Um, but it's been, a, it's been smooth. You know, we've, uh, even when we've needed the run, we've relied on the run. When we've needed the pass, we made plays in the passing game. Brijo's done a great job of uh, remaining confident, uh, calm, and making plays with his arm. So uh, it's exciting as a, as a wide receiver, but at the same time, we know we still have a solid run game, and uh, we can rely on that, and they're going to use us when we need a big play downfield. Being up in Oregon and you know being in that tough environment like we were, um, you know I think we, we should be ready to go. Um, I don't think you know any of those external factors are really going to affect us at all. Growing up living in Colorado and then going to high school in Kansas City, I always say I, I love the elements. I play better in them. Actually, uh, it's going to be fun playing. I like games like that. So I, I'm actually kind of hoping for a little rain. But you just got to nothing changes. You just got to focus a little bit more on catching the ball and uh, have strong hands. You just can't let it affect you. You got you, you to go out there and have fun and enjoy it. On defense, UCLA must stop Washington and quarterback Jake Locker. Here's linebacker Sean Westgate and cornerback Andrew Abbott. They got a great quarterback in Locker. Um, they got a good running back in Polk. Uh, the receivers, they're, they're guys that can make plays, and uh, their offensive line is going to be, you know, putting up good blocks for them. So uh, they're a good team, and uh, we, we have to be ready for anything coming out the shoot because they do a lot of different things. They obviously have good concepts, you know what I mean, to be good receivers, I guess, in that, in that offense, you got to have good concepts and just make plays. And uh, one thing that we notice is their guys can really make plays. And, uh, we really are really honing in on each individual receiver and uh, trying to figure out what we need to do to stop them. I think it hurts us most if locker um, breaks contain. So it's just going to be one of those things for our D-line I mean, to keep them in the pocket at, uh, at all times, you know, or at least when possible. Because if he's going to get out into space, that's when it's going to hurt us. So we got to keep him from getting out into space by himself because he's one of those, he's big, but he's fast. Practicing against Nelson and Randall. They're both on the opposite end of the spectrum. One's tall, one's short and fast, you know what I mean? So I think it really helps us because when we go to the game, we don't know what we're going to see. I mean, we know kind of the size of the guys, but we don't really know their speed. They might not be as fast, might be as fast. So I think that's one thing they give us is the, is the difference in the speed and the height. So we really can judge and then we can take it over to the game and it really help us. Once again, UCLA is at Washington Thursday night. Kickoff is set for 5 o'clock. Of course, the best news and notes on UCLA football, as well as the best postgame coverage, get it all right here. Bruin TV, the UCLA Bruins.com.